In this video, I will be explaining an entity from the Trevor Henderson lore that's known only as the Stranger. All I can say is, you better hope you never run into this thing while you're alone, because it'll be the last thing you see. Anyways, without further ado, if you enjoy it, leave a like. Let's get into the explanation, shall we? The Stranger is a decently new creature in the Henderson lore that has many unique features about it, including its appearance. The Stranger depicts a very unusual humanoid-shaped entity with a massive spherical head where a normal head should be. Now, this head is actually thought to be a mask, but I'll talk more about that later. The entity is pale and has wrinkly skin that has a light pinkish hue to it. And there's two massive cartoony eyes with black pupils drawn onto the middle of this mask face thing. The body structure of the stranger is pretty thin and it's covered in a long black coat from its neck to its toes. So you can't really see its actual feet or legs, it all just has that black cloak around it. It's thought that there is only one instance of the stranger, and it's not a bunch of them running around, you know, it's just this one stranger, which makes it actually scarier, if you think about it. The entity is over seven feet tall, and has this really ghostly, ethereal vibe surrounding it. When you encounter it, people say that it doesn't feel human. It, it feels like an otherworldly being. It kind of floats around, doesn't make any noise, and it almost carries this aura with it. The actual face of the stranger is completely unknown since it does wear that mask over its real face. But what we do know is that the mask is wrinkly, it's leathery, and it looks to be constantly wet, like some sort of substance is always dripping onto it, or it could be wax. We're not sure actually, but that's the leading theory. On the front of the mask, there's usually a massive frowning mouth with large teeth that are shoved into it. This part of the mask is the only thing that might be real, considering you can see the tongue and the teeth move around in the stranger's face. So maybe like they cut out that area in the mask so you could actually see its mouth. I don't know. It's creepy to look at nonetheless. Behaviors. Now, not a ton of information on the behaviors of this entity have been documented, but I will tell you what we know. Encounters with the stranger normally take place in lost and empty buildings that are still in use. So things like discount furniture stores or old uh, liminal malls and that sort of thing. Places that people still go, but not really because they're not as popular as they used to be. It might also be seen in a mattress store or something like that as well. It's often believed that the entity's true face you know, what's under the mask, is actually more disturbing than the mask itself. And that's because of the teeth and the mouth that you can see. Like, whatever is attached to that mouth has got to be terrifying. It's also thought that the entity uses this mask as some sort of hunting tactic because it lures people closer to it. You know, since it looks almost kind of cute from far off, or at least cuter than most Trevor Henderson creatures do, it might lure you closer to the entity and get you within striking distance. We're not sure. We are sure, though, that the stranger seems to be a very quiet and shy entity, and it usually won't even show itself to people unless it's targeting that specific person. It kind of just lurks in the shadows and waits and watches. Abilities. Now, the main ability that the entity has is that it can induce feelings of vertigo, dizziness, and disorientation into its victims before it attacks. It does this in order to make them feel confused and unsure of their surroundings. It seems to make these feelings happen so that its target or its victim will go deeper and deeper into that building that they're in, and it will get more lost and disoriented and lose their path and lose their way. And this implies that the stranger has many psychic abilities that can directly mess with our minds. I mean, the fact that it can literally trigger vertigo inside of a person means it's got to be pretty powerful. And this is actually a similar power to the upside down face man, which I'll do a video on eventually. But both of these entities can induce confusion and dizziness when you get near them. Now, someone on Twitter recounted that when they were little, they would go to, you know, old malls and stuff like that, and they would get on escalators 
and they said they would get extremely dizzy and almost faint while going up these escalators. And Trevor Henderson himself replied and said that it was absolutely the work of the stranger because the stranger likes to attack people when they're not really thinking about it and when they're going up or down or anything like that. The mask of the stranger is also heavily implied to be made out of paper mache, but it also moves and acts like a real head. It just seems like it's a blown out of proportion face because the muscles move, the head moves, all of it moves, but it still seems fake. This means that the stranger is very intelligent and skilled enough to produce something so realistic and not just a fake paper mask. And it seemingly uses that intelligence in its hunting patterns by dragging people away from their groups and luring them deeper into these dead malls and furniture stores and warehouses back to where there's nobody else but you and it. Now, The Stranger is one of those entities that its goofy, out of proportion design kind of adds to the horror that is surrounding it. I mean, it looks like a big dumb baby from far away, but if you get closer to it, you get all dizzy and confused and unsure of where you're at, and you see this giant mouth and this big head moving around. It's pretty terrifying to say the least. It's actually unknown what the stranger does when it gets in contact with its victim, because no one has survived to tell the tale. As of right now, the bodies of the victims are never found, so it disposes of them in a way we don't know. But it seems to almost hunt humans in these dead malls and warehouses and stores like it's a game, like it gets joy out of doing it. Or at least we think it does. We're not actually 100% sure if it eats the people it hunts or if it just sacrifices them to another entity, we don't know. But several theories do exist surrounding what it might do to people. Some think that its paper mache mask that it wears isn't actually paper mache and instead is the stretched out and distorted skin of its victims. Others believe that the entity is some sort of alien that is really ugly and so gross to look at that it covers up its own head so humans won't be immediately freaked out. Whatever you believe though, the stranger is a horrific entity that you would not want to run into while shopping alone or browsing a dead mall or a empty department store. Because the likelihood is, if you walk into that mall where it's at, you'll never walk out. The end goal and the moral implications of this stranger are still completely unknown as of this video, like I said, but with the knowledge we have that it induces dizziness and that it kind of confuses people and lures them deeper into these malls and watches people from the shadows, we can kind of assume that it's not the nicest thing to ever walk the face of the earth. But until somebody survives an attack and until somebody is seen again after encountering one, we just won't have any idea what it actually wants. I kind of want to knock his mask off and sit with underneath though. I don't know. Hopefully it's not ugly. Thank you for watching the video until the end. If you did enjoy this Trevor Henderson creature and you want more, make sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments what other ones I should go over. There's so many of them I have on my list, so I'll, I'll probably end up doing your suggestion either way. But if you do enjoy, make sure you tell me in the comments and leave a like so YouTube pushes this video out to the algorithm and that would really just help me out. It's free to do and I would appreciate it. Thank you so much for all you do. I cannot believe how much this channel and Spoogly are growing. It's like a second wind this channel has, like four years in. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I'm just so happy with it. I'm making a ton of changes, making a ton of diversifications and content. And I thank you all for watching them. So much is in the works. I can't wait to reveal it. It's going to be soon. But with all that said, I will leave you for now. Peace and love, everybody.